of WhatsApp, it's been, a, as Alex mentioned, it's been a long time coming. Uh, we're really excited about this feature. Uh, we believe it's really going to transform the way that uh, businesses talk with their customers, communicate with their customers, um, forms a central part of the system. So it's uh, really important for us to have added this feature. Um, we're going to delve a bit deeper into it today. And um, just to update everyone, not everyone was aware of it, but during 4.3, we were running beta version of WhatsApp for registered users. They were testing it for us and um, giving us feedback. And probably one of the most important feedback was that we required a chat box. So we implemented this and uh, added it to version 5.0 as well. So we're just gonna give you a bit of introduction on WhatsApp integration. Uh, we decided to do WhatsApp integration because it's used by over 2 billion users. And uh, the main reason for it, it is one of the largest communication platforms globally. So it is secure, it is efficient, it is very reliable. It's got a well-established platform and we can use this internally in Splinks for support, sales, uh, updates on customers, etc. So a bit of background on what we did with WhatsApp. Um, as some of you might know, WhatsApp business works a bit differently to normal WhatsApp. So we integrated with a partner called Twilio. Um, they are one of the global leaders in uh, telecoms and communication. And uh, the API allowed us to create sim a seamless experience inside of Splinks. So it doesn't matter whether you're just sending a quick message or tracking an entire conversation, um, everything is very smooth and reliable. Just a quick note on Twilio's pricing model. So from Splinks' perspective, we have decided to make this features uh, free available to everyone. Um, Twilio does, however, have a usage-based fee uh, which is tracked according to our conversations. So conversations are tracked and classified into a few different categories. And this is not just Twilio's rules, but also WhatsApp and Meta's rules. But it does still keep the cost very flexible and uh, it makes it very affordable for ISPs, one of the most affordable communications platforms. So just to quickly run through the configuration. So first of all, you are going to register a Twilio account. Next, you're gonna upgrade your account to a paid Twilio account, which is around $15. So it's not too much. And then uh, apart from that, you'll obviously be built on the usage. And then lastly, you'll link your WhatsApp business account through the Meta business process. And you'll also be able to purchase either a number from Twilio themselves, or you'll be able to link your own number as well. Very important. And that's it. That's the registration process through uh, through Twilio. And lastly, you'll just set your configuration inside of Splinks, which is just four fields. So we will be covering now the main features and key components of, of WhatsApp. So first of all, what we decided to do is uh, different from a lot of our competitors and people that are providing this WhatsApp solution is the ability to create admin initiated templates. So as some of you might know, with WhatsApp business, any admin initiated conversation or text has to be pre-approved by WhatsApp and Meta. So we've decided to do this inside of Splinks. So you create the template, sync it with uh, Meta, and it returns and you are able to start using it almost immediately. Very short turnaround times on this syncing process. So also we are able to do admin initiated conversations. So we can see, we can select our customer. This is the WhatsApp widget, by the way. We can then select the phone number, select the template as well. And we can see our templates populated, send it to the customer. And we can see that it's been delivered and then from my end, I can see that it's been delivered from on my mobile side, and then I can respond. So I can respond and we can immediately see this conversation flowing back and forth. So it is, uh, it's really user friendly, very easy to configure. We can see also under messengers, that this messenger is here and it is also related to the customer and the customer's communication as well. 
So we can see the conversation here. Um, it does tell us whether the conversation is admin or customer initiated. And then going into that conversation, we have the overview here and we have the widget on the right hand side. So we can see in this case how useful the widget is because it doesn't matter where we are in the system, we can view this widget at all times. We can also minimize it and it does present itself with a small little bubble on the right hand side. We can then also view all of our conversations. So it does show me all my conversations, but I can also from a support perspective, view all unassigned conversations as well, if I wanna track and uh, respond to those. Then next, as we saw, we can receive uh, replies back from the customer. We are also focusing on assigning conversations. So when we look at our modules, we have auto assignment of conversations. We can auto assign it to multiple administrators and then also give them a email notification on any new conversations that come in. We also can view any sort of new messages that come through. They will pop up in three different places. So firstly on the chat widget, next any new messages will show as a bubble on the messengers icon. And lastly, we'll be able to see it as a toaster notification as well. Then just to focus quickly on uh, WhatsApp business rule that conversations will be closed after 24 hours after the last response. Um, and that is just a rule that they've implemented that uh, we followed as well. But it is very easy because we have admin initiated templates to just use a template to respond to the customer or from the customer's perspective, they can just reopen by replying to the conversation. So next we can also link specific um, messages to tickets. So we can say create a ticket. So from this message, uh, create a formal ticket as we know how help desk has been working. And we can also link this to existing tickets of the user. So yeah, we can link it as a test ticket and you can see here that it has been linked and the link actually does show. So we can go directly from the message to the ticket where it will show as a private note and then from here, we can go back to the message as well on the customers tab. And throughout all of this, our widget remains open and available uh, wherever you are in the system. Okay. Um, next, we are handling unknown senders as well. So this is a scenario where you might not have uh, admins or sorry, or a customer's phone number in the system. So it could either be that you have an existing customer, but someone else in the household is uh, messaging us and this number doesn't exist in the system, in which case under unknown senders, you can link an unknown sender to a existing customer and all conversations past and future will be linked to that customer. Alternatively, the second scenario is where it is a lead or a customer, which is important for our sales process, where you can actually create a customer or lead from this conversation. And it will pre-fill the, the name, the phone number, um, as much details as we can, and you can create a customer or lead from this conversation. So we are also focusing on constantly improving this product as well. So um, a few features that are on the horizon is also shifts. So shifts we are aware of that obviously, if uh, there's multiple shifts across the different times, and um, those, those messages should be reassigned. We are also currently developing shifts um, that will be for WhatsApp, for tickets, and possibly for tasks as well. So we're currently designing that for the next release of Splinks. And also we are able to handle multiple content types as well. So you can, so far we've seen that normal messengers come through quite, uh, quite easily. And we can send photos from the customer side as well. So yeah, I've sent a photo now to this conversation. And we can see there's a photo that I just took. Very importantly, we can also send GPS locations. We can send documentation as well. So PDFs, contracts, documents can all be sent across WhatsApp as well in terms of attachments. And then lastly, and possibly the most importantly, is we can send uh, locations as well. So locations, 
I've already sent a location here a bit earlier. So you can see this location. And why this is important is because, especially for WISPs and rural ISPs, where addresses sometimes aren't clear, the phone's location is very accurate. So this can be sent to us. It's, if it's an address that they choose to send, it will show the address, otherwise a GPS location. And uh, this will then uh, enable you to take this uh, location and use it for feasibility checks, as well as updating the customer's profile. So that is the end of our content. Um, lastly, basically we've integrated this um, and we hope this will help you as the ISPs communicate with your customers more effectively. And um, if you're excited about this as we are, uh, please reach out to us. We can help you configure it. We can help you with the Twilio configuration and uh, in general, any support with WhatsApp is fully available. Uh, we have the documentation as well that you saw earlier. So it goes through step by step on how to configure everything. And um, if there's any other issues, reach out to our support, reach out to our deployment teams, and we can help you integrate this and make full use of the this new feature.